It snapped the things inside my head that keep me going. Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it. Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me. But I believe in something bigger, bigger. What's up guys, so I'm back in Melbourne. I just got home, flew in today, landed at about 11.30 this morning. Um, it's probably about closer to 1 p.m. now. I just got home and then quickly showered and now I've got to rush off to the warehouse. I'm gonna do about a good four or five hours of packing orders today. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. As I said, I'm gonna continue vlogging into Australia. I wanted to carry that momentum. I hope you guys really enjoyed my little relaunch um, while we were in Thailand. And yeah, now that we're, we're back in Melbourne, we can get back into a little bit more of the training side of things. So let's go active fam. You can see there is a lot of orders to get through today. And I'm not even done printing the labels yet. This is probably three quarters. This is all the invoices. I'm gonna be here for quite some time, but they will all get sent out today and most of you will have them by tomorrow. I'm so excited to see Remy right now. Oh! Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Minky! <laughs> Remy, Remy Lai, come. Did you miss daddy? Did you miss daddy? All right fam, so I'm at the gym today. It is Wednesday, been back for a couple of days now, smashed out heaps of work. First day back vlogging, gonna do a workout today with my mate Maddie. We're gonna do a mic'd up session. So he's got a mic, I've got a mic. We you got a door, you got a gym. Get bigger, harder. We're using the DJI microphones. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna hit it big time. So we're gonna record all the shit talking. Majority of the session is going to be all shit talking, but a little bit of training as well. You know what I mean? Time for a little bit of a pre-workout. I'm going to probably just hit the um, the aggression. Yeah, full-blown aggression, grape flavor, red frogovich. Couple that with a little bit of creatine monohydrate and also citrulline malate for those extra big pumps and scoop of cut powder. You know what it is. <laughs> oh, I gotta find it. The pool is the best. Hasbulla whistle. <laughs> Fuck, he does it so good. Is that his? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, mic test. <laughs> you do pre-workout or not? Yeah, I got some now. Oh yeah. What are you having? I did um, I did a quarter, less than a quarter aggression. Oh, did you? Yeah, because I already Fuck, had. You're a... sensitive. Nah, because I already had a scoop before boxing. Oh, right, yeah. What, what did you have? Um, ignition switch. Oh, is that that like adrenal switch, but it's their pre-workout? No, 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 it's um, Seth Perosi's one, Accent Switch. Oh, right. Is it good? Yeah, it's um, it's pretty low stim. It's like 150 caffeine. That's all right, but more pump, yeah? More pump, and I didn't want to have big stim before boxing. Cause yeah, yeah, That's yeah. never a good idea. No, you fucking cooked it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you say. You actually don't want too much pump before boxing either, because otherwise your muscles fill up and you can't oh, move. When you're when you're your size, yeah. <laughs> like when I was doing my Sunday cardio sessions, I was taking the pre-workout and I was fucking dying. Like I just couldn't yeah, move. You, you can't. Like on the roller, it just lats are fucking nah, full nah. of blood, and I was like, oh. Yeah. <sighs> no, you're like a hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> what music do we want today? Um, bro, you know what I've been thrashing lately? That. That fast love playlist that you sent me. Yes. Like the whole Thailand trip just was I just let it play through love. and then when it starts again, I'm like, yeah, hit it. And fast. you know what? Those songs just never get old. Nah. They're awesome. <laughs> uh, so it's very extreme though, like it is like you you just go from nothing. To doing that. Yeah. Uh, is that is that what the thing is, criteria? Two, two workouts? Two 45 minute workouts a day. Yeah. Read ten pages of a book, follow a diet, no cheats, no alcohol. For 75 days. Yeah. No cheating on the diet? Nah. But what does the diet consist of? Whatever, you just have to follow a diet. Oh, right, right, right. 
So maybe it's like a, you could do if it fits your macros, but it's got to fit within the calorie deficit oh, yeah. or... You could. I think it just means eat clean food. Yeah, yeah. Like no junk food. Yeah. No macros. That's the hard part. The, the diet will be very the, hard. The two 45 minute sessions is easy. 45 minutes, work out in the morning, do a workout or even a walk you in the afternoon. Do, yeah, just do a walk and a weight session. And then reading 10 pages, is it? Yeah, that, that you can do. It's, yeah, it's easy, but you got to commit to doing it no matter yeah. how, like, I guess you f fit it in your schedule so that you're not doing it, like, at the end of the day when you're tired and then you're Reading. going, oh, yeah, I can't be fucked. No, you do it in the morning. you got to do it first thing yeah. as you wake up. Boxing in the morning, come home. Yep. You'd be making those Insta, like, day with me vlogs. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 5.30, wake up, make my bed. Yeah, have my like morning the, coffee. God, it's ironing your sheets. Ironing, ironing my sheets. You don't iron your sheets, bro. No one does that. He's and, on then, the side. and then come, no, you go to the gym, 5.30, back at home by six, and then you're doing an hour of working on myself, journaling. Yeah, like, you, <laughs> fuck, I don't even know what way to do, bro. I'm a bit scared. Did you do another warm up? Nah. Nah? Just straight, straight in. into it? First set. I'll go a bit lighter, I'm, 40s. I'm not gonna go nuts, though. Nah, you've already done a workout, man. No, like, yeah. Like, I'm a, this is day one of 75 hard. <laughs> <laughs> is today the first day of the challenge? No, no, no. You might as well count it today because you've already done a workout and this is the second workout. Now yeah, you just gotta go home and read 10 pages I'm, and you're I'm, done. I'm going on holiday. <laughs> yeah! Come on. Fuck, these dumbbells just feel nice. The grips, yeah. when I was away, I was training at some gym that had those like, the fat grips. Yeah, the dermis got the Fuck, fat ones. Fuck man, it's hard to pick up the dumbbells and walk from the rack like, back it, to like, the seat. They start from like the 22, so even the 22s <laughs> feel heavy. Like, what are you fucking doing? Right, even when you're pressing, like, you can't even grip the whole thing, so it's sort of just balancing there. Yeah. And you're losing an extra two reps out of that. Easy. Your grip strength's good, though. And then the seat was wobbly. Oh, how it's all those, fucked how up. How did the Thai guys grab it? They got fucking small hands. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's made for tourists, this gym. <laughs> Let's go, Jordan. No, no Thai guys were training there, bro. It's 20 bucks a session. Oh, they're not doing that. <laughs> That's a week's income. <laughs> 45,000 baht. Yeah. Oh, smooth. Nice. Oh, look at that pause. That's connected. All day, baby. Let's go. Squash that, Jordan. Oh, fuck, that was easy. Yeah, nice. It really, bro, I'm telling you, the dumbbells and the seat makes a big difference. Yeah, like, I fucking really appreciate the equipment here when after traveling. Because the, the bench, you know, the, the thing was like this to the seat part. Yeah. So you like slide in and then your, your hips are like You can't right. adjust them. You can barely even flick the dumbbells up. So that bit doesn't adjust? No, you can, but like it's really long. And then if you adjust it and it goes up a little bit, like this bit's like, so oh, it's the worst. If you put it back, this is all the way Yeah, up that's here. like what it is. Yeah. So when you're sitting there and the, the seat's like up here, <laughs> Yeah. Woo! Yep. Yeah, buddy. That felt light. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, buddy! That was light. All right, Maddie, come on. Throw him up. Oh, look at heavy. Easy, bro. What, what is this warm up? Yeah. Second warm up. Yep. Stage two. Just do like eight reps. <laughs> Remy! Let's go, bro. Yeah. Come on. First up here. Yeah? Yep. Up, ah, let's go. Oh, yep. Come on. Lock it in. Nice. Good bro. Yep. Three. Yep. Two more. Come on. And one. Oh. Oh. Nice. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh shit! Oh good, bro. Maybe 32. 
I could barely move the 40s when I was away. Yeah, it's the grips. It's the the you, grips, man, it's the grips. Fat, using fat grips. I did it at a couple of different gyms too, though. And they're all the Actually, same? Actually, the last session, chest session I did, I did 37s. But I had no spot, but I was maxing out like eight. I think maybe the food, this, that, a lot of contributing factors. Yeah, you're not hitting all those little one percenters. I wasn't having oats for breakfast, put it that way. I was having fucking oh, you bacon having eggs. <laughs> yeah, you had oats a couple times. Yeah, but I didn't train that, that like I was just at that hotel for four days and I didn't train. Remy, come here. You can't sit there. Remy Lay, come. Remy. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I'll Ooh, just rest girl. these on my knees, bro. Oh. Sit there. Stay. Ah, stay. Good girl. First up. Up. <coughs> Let's go. Lock it in. Clean. Remy, what are you doing, man? Bro, you haven't been here in a while, though. You've forgotten the rules. Is that five? Six. Yeah, now six? Good. I thought you were talking to me then. I'm like, what fucking rules? <laughs> she forgot, like, where she can and can't sit. Four more from here. Put a little bit wider out, open up the chest a bit more, drop down, squeeze now. Good. One. Again. There you go. Two. Up. Three. Go, one more. Everything now. Oh yeah, daddy. Was that the phone? No. In the pocket? Oh. That's it. Oh yeah. Alec. Alec. I thought that was the screen just no. busted. All right, guys, so doing my last set of chest presses, incline press, sorry. I've got the new dry fit stringer on in the blue. The white logo on the back. Oh. Easy, come on. Oh, one more. Last one, come on. Push, up. Nice. Oh yeah. That felt pretty good. I've got to get the roundness back to my chest. It's hard, like, when you're on holidays, doing chest on your own flattens out. What are you thinking? Just don't want to get flagged, you know? <laughs> 40s, maybe? Yeah, let's go flag. Ah! Red flags! Let's go red flags. Promenade! Let's go. <laughs> oh. Come on. Nice. Oh, yeah. Three. Yep. Two. One. You rock my world, come on. Oh! Smooth criminal. <laughs> Smooth mm. criminal. Smooth. Oh. Eight. Nice. Smooth. Criminal. 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 <laughs> Alright, let's go. Free tape. Free top G. <laughs> Free top G. Easy, bruv. Come on, hammer it. There you go, strong. Good, squeeze and hold this one at the top. Big squeeze, big squeeze. Keep the tension on. All right, here we go, four more. Let's go, power, easy. Good, one more, one more, one more. Yes. Solid, bruv. I do the guillotine presses on the Smith machine. This is one of my favorite exercises for building up thickness through the collarbone area. So at the very top of the chest. Although we're doing it on a flat bench, you're lowering the bar up higher and you're letting your elbows stretch out to the sides like that as opposed to tucking them in like you normally would with a regular bench press, yeah? Now to line this up, what you want to do is put the bench in the Smith machine, lower the bar down and make sure that if your Smith machine has like one of these lines on it, that that's dead set center on the bench, all right? From here, lift it up and then we're ready to go. All right, so I'm going to do about 
Eight to 10 reps, nice and slow on the way down. I'm really focusing on the eccentric loading on this exercise, as opposed to just pushing, yeah? We've done our explosive movements on the presses. So now this exercise is all about stretching the muscle and, and really loading it under fatigue. So when you get to like that six to eight rep range when your muscles are starting to really burn, that's when you really want to focus on your eccentric reps, yeah? Oh. All right, so arching the back as much as I can, and then the bar's gonna draw straight down towards my collarbone with my elbows drawing slightly out to the sides as opposed to being tucked in. Yeah, oh yeah. How'd that feel, mate? Fucking grouse, grouse. Instant pumps on that exercise. Yeah. See that like thickness Thick. around here? Just bang. It's full heat. And also a bit more fullness there. Just after one set. Do four of these and then bang. We're looking like big Rami. <laughs> <laughs> Ambitions of a rider. <laughs> Right, let's go, come on. Let's go. Serious face. Let's war. There it is, nice. You don't have to fully lock out the elbows yet. Just once you get that full squeeze through your chest, just hold it at the top there, tension in the chest, bring it back down. Good. Once you start fatigue and then start pushing a little bit faster off the bottom. Good. There you go. Come on, these are the ones that count now. Let's go, come on. Two more. Good, one more. Alright, we'll go here, Bian. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Feel good? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Great. He should be rolling. All right, fam. So we just did three sets on that exercise. Now we're gonna do three sets of incline dumbbell flies. So we're still hitting the upper chest area. It's just a slightly different movement. Obviously, we can go a little bit wider, stretch the chest out and by dropping the elbows lower and then compressing it a little bit more at the top because the hands can actually come together as opposed to a bar that's gonna get stuck there. So the idea of this exercise is to compress the chest at the top and create that thickness and density so that when you're looking from the side, you're gonna get that sort of lift to the pec, you know, that double D side boob action. Probably go like 25s to start. Yeah. See how it feels. Yeah, hit that switch. Fucking. Oh, deep. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yep, spot. Yeah. Good. Oh. Oh. Two. Yep. Yep. Last one. Oosh. Come on, last one. Yep. That oh. was late. That week. Okay, go, yeah. 20s. 17, 20. Just remember that there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> Let's go. Free top kick. Yeah, nice. Just open it up on the first couple, like fucking spread her legs. Don't fucking <laughs> do <laughs> There we go. Right, now smash it off the bottom. Ready? Go. Push. Here we go. Oh. Woo! Yeah! Feel good? Oh, that's fatigue. Fatigued? Yeah. That's just it, mate. That's, that's just it. That's just it. Can't win them all. All right, guys, last exercise is the, what do you call these again? <laughs> Cable flies. <laughs> anyway. Extra roundness to the shoulders, you know, throwing some laterals at the end. Round 
Okay, I'll just check how they're looking. The instant roundness, or what are we looking at here? Are we round? Not bad. Yeah, I just like getting that, you know, that shelf going at the end of the workout. It's a good, good way to finish it off. What are you going to do for the rest of the day? Eating is a priority, yep. I've really been um, frothing the, the protein shakes with like the banana and the ice blended because I was having them in Thailand. Yeah, bro, really, like, but like put the blender on for like three minutes. Like blend it up till it's smooth criminal styles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, it's good on a hot day. I might do that today actually. Go home and, or better fucking hope that there's some bananas there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe get the bananas, get the barramundi. Oh, fuck, what am I gonna do about the rice but? I'll do the protein shake at home, buy the barramundi, put the rice on now, come back to the gym with the barramundi, and then eat it here. Just for the rice. I'm not buying that packet of rice from Coles, that's cooked. I suppose I could take the rice cooker home. <laughs> I'll put the rice in there now. Probably end up all over my boot, watch. <laughs> One cup. For sure, that's tipping over in the boot. I like to take risks though. I should just put it in the front seat and then I can monitor it. Remy, you're in the back. Maybe I'll tie this over the top of it like that. Look at that. Secured. That's not, that's not going anywhere. Look at that. Done. Who's that? Who's that, mummy? Who's that, mummy? We gone. Uh-oh. She thinks we're going upstairs. Oh, 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 just can't decide. Hey guys, that is the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed that mic'd up session. If you did, make sure you go ahead and click that like button and don't forget to, scri to subscribe to the Active channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, Active Fem.